Welcome to this Unity package that is called the Snake 3D Cartoon in which you will be able to move your snake using this path here, the left path and whenever you eat one of the red balls okay, you will see how the snake is growing so now we have one, two, three squares and if you eat another one you have this cool animation and it grows and adds another square if you want to change the camera viewpoint you have this right um, path that's, it, it's able to rotate the camera and make it go up and down so you will be able to see the animation now whenever I try to eat a ball okay you see the animation perfectly there so how is this package working so first of all we have the canvas and inside the canvas we have the interface canvas in which we have uh, the background uh, for the left and the right pad that are just static images as you can see here and then we have the left pad, pad sorry, that is for moving and the right pad that is for the camera so each of those scripts have um, have a function, in this case is the left path and the right path function okay, as you can see here and then on the event triggers we have the calls to those scripts, as you can see we are um, on my drag, okay, and then you have on my release so in fact uh, inside of those scripts let's try to open one of, of it to explain it a little bit you have the radius the initial position regarding the camera, as you can see, and then the coefficient screen that is going to be the size of the of the file. Okay. So left path script is something like this, as you can see here, and inside the function on my drag, as you can see, what we're going to do is to get the touches of of the of the screen and then get the information of the mouse and with that information be able to know if for example our pad is, is like this we're going to obtain the difference between this point and the point of the background and then we're going to be able to obtain the, the displacement of that path and we're going to send the information to the snake okay so that's all regarding the paths then we have the event system and managers so here we have just the things we use to click on the on the screen we have the standalone input module then we have the environment in which we have the sun and the plane and then I have put also the all the spheres we we are using to to make the snake grow then um, we have eatable objects in which I have more spheres. I don't know why we have so many spheres. Okay, this is a problem. Some of these spheres were uh, in the environment, but now are all inside eatable objects. Okay, so an eatable object, it's in this case just a um, 3D mesh that has a collider, a rigid body, and it's tagged at eatable. So everything that is eatable will produce that animation inside the snake okay and finally uh, we have the snake uh, script which has the snake body configuration in which we have the K and the D values that are for the springs so let me just explain to you what happens when a snake is built okay when the snake is built I'm going to show you um, the bodies and the head and the tail are joined by springs, by two springs. So, when the spring is created, we add those values, the K and the D value. Okay, so you can see snake body. So, for uh, I I equal to one to the number of cubes. What we're going to do is instantiate the body prefab, and then we add a spring joint between those things. 
and we put the t value and the k value to those. Okay. So, um, as I said, whenever I hit play, you have the number of cubes of the body here, which is going to generate the snake size. So in this case, you can see that we have only one cube. But if you want to generate a bigger snake, you can add 10 here, and you will be able to have the a bigger snake. Then you have the prefabs also, as the head and the snake body. So now you have a really big snake of 10 squares, okay? As you can see. By just changing that variable. And inside the snake head, what we have is the body rotation checker and the play movement. The body rotation checker is just a script that is going to um, prevent the rotation of, of this of the of the mesh into a direction we don't want to, to rotate. That is used, for example, if you are climbing a mountain, you want to st stay normal to that mountain and not, and not fall. So that's used for that. And then you have the player movement attack, in which we manage the movement and the the attack. So we have the move auto, which is selected, which means that the snake is going to move automatically. And then, um, sorry about that. And then we have the speed, which is the speed movement of the of the snake. Okay, so if you want to make this the snake go slow slowly, you can hit this next to one, and if you want to go it to make it go fast, you make it fast. Okay, with that value. Then the coefficient of rotation is the value that you use for the rotation. So if you want to rotate fast or slow. Okay, as you can see. Then the hit object is just uh, an, an object that, that is refer referenced whenever we get close to the sphere. So you're going to see that whenever we get close to the sphere, here sphere 5 appears until the, the object is destroyed. Okay, so it's just to show you which is the object that we are eating at this moment. Then if we say move out to negative, okay, you, you can see that the snake is not move, uh, moving. So if you want to move it manually, you can use your, your k-path or you can just add here the value you want, for example, 0, 3, okay, and it should do it. So use keyboard, it should move with, with your keyboard. Okay, now it's moving with my keyboard. I'm pressing A and pressing D. Okay, so I'm pressing A and D. Okay, so uh, this is all regarding the scripts of the snake head. And finally, we have the ref camera, that is the point as you can see here, in which the camera is going to is going to follow, and we have added a rotating camera script that is connected to the this um, to this path to the right path, and what it's doing is, as you can see, it's changing the theta total, which is the rotation uh, regarding the y-axis, and it's also changing the h total, that is the the height, as you can see. And then what we have, we have the maximum height and the minimum height. So, for example, if I go down, 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 the minimum height I can be, it's at 2. And the maximum one I can be, it's at 10. At 40, sorry. As you can see. Okay. So that's all regarding the, the rotate camera script. And finally, the look at player. It's just a script that makes this game object look at the head of the snake all the time. So um, let's check uh, the animation process. 
So um, whenever we we call the eat uh, trigger here inside the animation of the of the head of the of the snake, it will trigger the animation of eating, as you can see. Okay, that animation there. Then we have another animations that are inside the uh, uh, snake body animator that we have a process that is appearing and a process that is passing animal body okay so whenever we eat a, a bow what is happening is that the appearing uh, the passing animal body sorry is going to play as you're going to see so this is the animal passing and then the appearing one means that the new cube that appears okay starts from zero i'm going to show you again this one here starts from zero so those animations uh, are imported in the models uh, in the models snake body and you have two animations you have the cube grow that is this one here and the cube up here that is that one there you can see, okay. The cube up here and the cube grow. So that's all regarding this package. Thanks for watching. I hope you like it. I hope you consider consider downloading and um, keep tuned for more.